you're being asked to graph y equals negative x plus 3. I want you to see that this is already in y equals mx plus b form. That means this positive 3 is the y-intercept. So on the up-down axis, the y-axis, I want you to find 3 and put a dot there. That's the first point on your line. Great. Now, there's just a negative in front of x. The coefficient here, what would you multiply x by to just maintain it and not actually change it? The answer is 1. The slope is negative 1. We just don't write the 1 usually. What that actually means is negative 1 over 1, because dividing by 1 doesn't change the identity of a whole number either. The reason I'm writing it like a fraction is so that you can see we have a rise and a run. Slope is rise over run. You're going to rise negative 1, which to me means going down, and you're going to run by 1, which to me means going to the right by 1. So from this point, I want you to go down 1, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one, and over and over and over, probably until you run out of space on your grid or you get bored. You know, put as many dots as your teacher wants. You'll also probably see that if we wanted to backtrack, we would just be doing the exact opposite. We'd be going up and to the left, up one, left one, up one, left one, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Remember, the last step for graphing a line is to use a ruler to connect all the points. And don't forget to put arrows on both ends. That's what makes it a line and not a line segment. There you go. We're done. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.